Hey guys, so today I thought that I would bring you a video showcasing products that Sephora Collection recently launched. We've got a makeup sponge, we've got a palette, we've got a powder, we've got some lip products, and we have a brush kit. So if you guys are curious to see what's new from Sephora, then just keep watching. The first, you guys are going to have to bear with me. I am kind of losing my voice or getting it back. I'm not exactly sure which end of this I'm on, but the first product is the Mint Chip Beauty Sponge. This is my favorite ice cream flavor, so I think this is really cute. You can see the packaging looks like a little cone and it's mint color. And this is produced by Sephora and Vera Mona, who does the Color Switch um, brush cleaner. It says, wet the sponge with water until completely saturated, squeezing out excess. Use round end to blend and angled to blend contour and bake. So that's what we are going to do today. Sprinkles on the side, part of the package. Let's try it. Okay, so I dampened the sponge and originally it fit in this little plastic container and so that's how much it grew. It's a bit stiffer than like a beauty blender, but we're going to give it a try. The first thing I'm gonna to do today is do contour similar to what Scott Barnes does. So I'm gonna be using this for my concealer, my cream contour, and my foundation. For the contour, I'm using the Tardis Pro Glow Palette. For foundation, I'm using the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin. And for concealer, I'm using a combination of the Essence Camouflage Matte Concealer in 10 and the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in Brightener. I mean, I love ice cream as much as the next person, but I mean, doing your concealer with this kind of feels like you're picking your nose just because of the pointy edge. All right, so the concealing and highlighting is done. Let's jump in to the contour. We'll see how this works. Okay, so so far it's working okay. I'm not loving the pointy end for concealer. It's just a little bit too pointy and too wiggly, like it's harder to control. And this side is doing a fine job of the contour, but I don't know, there's just something strange about this shape. So let me try now to wipe this off and apply foundation and see how it works to apply foundation. Okay, so while it did an okay job of applying the contour, the concealer, and the foundation, it's just not something I'll reach for much. Unless you really like to do a sharp nose contour, this edge is nice for drawing on like a cream contour line for your nose. So perhaps this is something you would like if that's something that you're looking to achieve, a really sharp nose contour. Otherwise, I think I'll stick with my other beauty sponges that I already have in my collection. Next up, we have a new powder from Sephora. This is the Beauty Amplifier Smoothing Translucent Setting Powder. It says it's colorless, so we will see how this works on top of my makeup. Inside it has the kind of mesh net, and then it also has the stopper in the lid so that things don't pour out. Now it says it is colorless, but it looks quite white on my finger. 
and looks a bit white on the hand, so we'll see about flashback once I apply this. I'm going to dust it on under my eyes first. Let me do a quick flash test first where I just put the powder under the eyes and see if it has flashback. Okay, as you guys can see from that picture, this definitely has flashback, so do not use this if you will be taking flash photography. I am not today, so I'm just going to go ahead and set the rest of my face with this powder. So if you're looking for something that lightens your makeup, this might work, but if you're looking for something that does not have flashback, this will not work. Alright, so far we're zero for two, not a big fan of the sponge, not a big fan of this powder for the flashback reason alone. Next up we have a face palette, some face brushes, and lipsticks. I'm going to hop off, do brows, bronze, warm up the face, and I'll be right back. Okay, so the eyebrows are done, I added a little bit of Milani. Silky Matte Bronzer and the Guerlain Terracotta Light Sun Kissed Healthy Glow Powder Bronzer to the face and then a Jane Iredell Blush. This is the Pure Pressed Blush in Whisper to my face. Now we have some lip products and we have an eye palette and a brush kit. So the brush kit is the Crease Uncomplicated Brush Set. It says the five must-have cut crease eye brushes. So that's what we're going to be trying today with this new palette from Sephora called the Vivid Earth this is what the brush set looks like inside and you get a little carrying case which is really cute and now let's take a look at this Sephora palette it says wild nature explore the power of raw authentic color enjoy a unique sensory experience a pigment rich formula delivering intense color on the first stroke composed of an eye primer and seven eyeshadows in a suite of earth and khaki tones this palette offers high impact colors to your eye looks and on the back it shows you the colors that are inside which I do appreciate when you can't open a palette. All right, so let's swatch these and see what we are working with. We have the bone shade which is a very large shade which seems not really intense. Then kind of like the cream shade called essential ground and element are the first four. Okay, so these, I mean, this is kind of my skin tone, so these are not going to show up real well, but here are the first four, and we have Seeds, which is like this dark matte green, we have Wild, which is a metallic green, we have Culture, more of an olive shimmer green, and then we have Rustic, which is this matte black on the end, so here we have them. So here are the shades from the palette. They are very earthy tones, but we'll see what we can do with this color selection. Zoom in a little bit here so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to take this shader brush into the base shade and just apply it all over the lid. This is not quite big enough for what I like to do all over the lid. So I usually grab something a little bit bigger like this. And I'm just going to do one eye today, just so that we're not here forever. Next I'm going to take my tapered blending brush into the essential shade and kind of start defining the crease area. And that's like a buttermilky shade, it's barely showing up on my skin, so I'm going to go into the next shade, which is ground right here. And then next I'm going to go into Seeds, this dark green, with my precision point brush and concentrate on the outer corner.
And then I'm gonna go back in with my blending brush to kind of fluff out the edges. I feel like the color is blending away a little bit. Okay, I'm really trying to build up this green and it just keeps kind of blending away. I mean, applied wet, it's much more intense. Like right here, I applied it wet. So now we are going to start with cutting the crease here. I'm gonna grab a little concealer and start cutting the crease. This is not a skill that I have perfected, just so you know, so we will try together. And then I'll go back in with that base shade. And then I'm going to go in with that beautiful gold shade on the inner part of the lid and I'm going to wet my brush. And now that I have the gold on there, I'm gonna go into the two green shades on the outer corner. So I think that looks really nice. You can kind of see where it was cut and I can always deepen up the crease a little with this precision brush, which is nice. I like that, so I'm gonna hop off to the other eye and I'll be right back. So this is the end cut crease look using this brush set and this palette from Sephora. I like the way that it turned out. I just felt like this green color needed to be added and added and added and added. So pigmentation wise, they're not the most intense. It says it has a primer in it and you get color from one swipe. You do get color, but once you blend, it starts disappearing. So I felt like it needed to be built up quite a lot, but the end look is really pretty. I used all three of the metallics. I used a handful of the matte shades. On. So I'm gonna pop on a little mascara and I'll be back to try the lip product. So I like the way that the eye look turned out. It's kind of like a, yeah, like an earthy, vibrant eye look. The brush set worked really well. The shadows, I'm on the fence about. So now let's try the new lip products from Sephora. They are the Sephora Rouge Lacquer. They have like a deep purpley pink, oh, orangey red, and a just subtle pink. So I'm gonna start with the subtle pink and see how that looks with this look. Although we're going more warm tone, I'm not sure what these are gonna look like on my skin tone. The packaging is really pretty. It's silver and kind of geometric. There's the color right there. It looks like it's gonna be very like balmy. The formula is very similar to these L'Oreal Shine lipsticks. Very, very similar. Very balmy, very shiny, and very opaque. I don't particularly love this color on me, um, but this one is L16. The number is written really, really tiny on the bottom. It's almost impossible to see, but the color is here. So let me remove this and try the red one and see if that one looks any better on my skin tone. Next, we will try L12 Be The Boss. The name is on the wrapper, which once you take it off, it doesn't say the name of the color, just the number. So I like this color better, but still, if I'm looking for like a glossy lipstick for the price tag I'd probably go for this versus this one I mean here you're paying Sephora prices here you're paying drugstore prices so just putting that out there I mean they're nice they're comfortable they're shiny they're opaque but are they the most unique thing out there no there are others similar to it Maybelline also has a shine lipstick line as well 
And then the third one is this like purpley pink, which I know this is not my color, so I'm gonna donate this one to a local shelter. All right, so now, wrap up of the new products from Sephora. First of all, we have the Mint Chip Cone Blender. Um, I think this one's gonna be a pass for me. It did an okay job, but I think that I prefer like the Maybelline Face Studio sponge a little bit more, or like the Sonia Kashuk sponges. This one, like I said, like when you're blending it around the nose, it feels like you're picking your nose. It's just, I don't know, it's just kind of an awkward shape. But if you do nose contour, you might like this for that. Or if you really like to like chisel out lines on your face, you might like this for like baking. The Loose Translucent Setting Powder it had major, major flashback as you guys saw in the photo. So for that purpose, I would say no, definitely not for flash photography or video or anything like that. But if you never take flash pictures, then it does a fine job setting the face. Like my face is smooth, it's set, it's a little bit brightened. Um, but it's not one that I'm going to be reaching for much because I do take flash photography from time to time. So for me, this is a pass for me personally, but you may like it if you use it for other purposes. The brush set I think worked really well. I like this combination of brushes. I used all of them. I used the last brush to kind of clean up the edge when I was all done because it didn't have any color or product on it. So I really like these brushes. I think Sephora makes really nice brushes. So if you guys are in the market for an eye set, this is a really nice one. The Vivid Earth Palette. I had to build up the mattes a bit, especially the green one. When I was blending the green one, it kind of blended away. But when it's all said and done, it does look really pretty on the face. So, okay palette. Not blown away, but it's also not one of the worst ones I've ever tried. So I'm kind of like on the fence with this one. So if these colors are speaking to you, then perhaps check it out. But it's not something that I would say you need to rush out and buy right away. And finally, these lacquer lipsticks. They are nice. They are comfortable. They are glossy. They are opaque. But are there other things out there similar to them? Yes, there are. So it's just a matter of brand preference and perhaps packaging preference. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what was new from Sephora collection. If you did enjoy this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and as always, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.